You really can't take a hint, can you? I look up from the coffee stain, I'm dabbing. No, oh, hi there! Uh, wow, you're pretty. Guess you aren't blind. Glad we can finally rule that out. That's the fourth time this week that an unnaturally beautiful stranger has dumped their coffee on you. Wait, what? But did you bother looking at their face? Um, uh, no, I would imagine if, like, someone dropped coffee on me, I'd, my, my immediate instinct is to clean it off myself, my dude. Fluttering your lashes? <sighs> no, I would be in pain. Making small talk? It's like you're trying to make my life harder. So I'll stop dropping coffee on me then! Like, it hurts! Uh, are those wings? Are you floating? Who or what are you? What the actual hell? Who or what are you? My name is Virgil. I'm a Cupid, and I'm at your service. Literally. 50 years of flawless work, rave reviews, not a single Loveless on my watch, and then... you. Hey, hey, what can I say, alright? Like, I am just amazing as I am. His finger gently taps me on the forehead. I pull all the stops. Trapped in lifts, only one bed, reunited with childhood crushes, the works! At this point, your entire life is like an obnoxious rom-com. Um... But it's like you don't... notice. Or care. Whatever the case, I'm at my wit's end. I figured it's either this, or admitting to HQ that I failed. And I'd rather be pulverized for rule-breaking than give that condescending prick Valentine the satisfaction. Now tell me, what are we going to do about this little snafu? Uh, well, you're the reason I keep getting stuck in confined space with randos? What is it you want from me? Uh, assuming I believe you, how can I help? What is it you want from me? Isn't that obvious? What I need is for you to fall in love already. Uh, laugh at his face, you can't be serious. I'm not against it on principle. Then why haven't you fallen for anyone? Look, I can't move on to my next assignment until your stomach goes all aflutter. It's not just for me. I'm sure you're done with the tropey bullshit yourself. I am begging you. It's been three months since I was assigned to you. That long, huh? Barely notice you there. Just to be clear, all those closets, lifts, basements, wide cellars, that was you. You must not be very good at your job. Just to be clear, all those closets, lifts, basements, and wide cellars, that was you? So you did notice. Uh, ca well, ca kinda hard not to. Why then? Did you have to- do you have fun playing with my life? Why then? There's a pause, his face conflicted. Usually it's in and out, one or two tropes max. But with you, nothing was working. So I doubled down. I should probably have stopped. But I didn't want to admit I was struggling. And you got caught in the middle. I am sorry. I know it's been a lot. Uh, there's no harm in admitting you failed. There's, there's no harm in asking for help, my dude. I know. You'd think after 50 years it'd get easier, but it hasn't. Uh, I'm glad you reached out. You know what would help with that therapy? <laughs> I could, could I send the angel out for therapy? Well, I'm glad you reached out. I'm glad too. You make it palatable. Regardless, we're stuck together until we can get your dead heart beating again. And I'm sure you share my desire to get unstuck as soon as possible. Okay, is a beating heart all it takes? Just because I'm lonely, that doesn't mean it's a joyless life. You know, that sounds like a you problem. Uh, is a beating heart all it takes? At this point, I'd settle for a dumb crush. Hell, an enthusiastic snog. It should be falling in love. But the rules are positively medieval, and I'm past caring. Just pick anyone you're vaguely attracted to. Uh, and you'll be my wingman? I'd rather not... Anyone? What about you? Me? Um, I'm not sure I qualify. Darling, there's plenty of viable, living candidates who would be thrilled to kiss you. Are you telling me that I'm not good enough for you, Virgil? Are you telling me that these lips are not worthy to be, like, placed upon yours? Is that what you're saying to me? Uh, are you saying you wouldn't be thrilled? Of course I would. I just don't think you're clear on the possibilities. Just pick a person. Any person, and I'll make it happen. Uh, good. I choose you. Scared? What's the worst that could happen? 
I choose you! 7.9 billion people. I'm offering you any person in the world on a silver platter. He swallows and my heart thumps wildly in my chest. Why me? Why not you? I have a feeling your heart hasn't beaten in a while either. Us loveless gotta stick together, don't we? I have a feeling your heart hasn't beaten in a while either. Who knows? Maybe the book is archaic about Cupid's too. Maybe all it takes is a kiss and you'll get to move on. But... If you really don't want to... Oh, I want to. Yes? I just think it's a terrible idea. No! Ah, you really know how to make a person feel wanted. I'm a few centuries out of practice. You're lovely. Truly. Uh, wait, what? Are we kissing? I gently comb my fingers through the hair at the nape of his neck. He leans into me, putting his forehead to mine. I wonder if I'll miss it. The presence I never see, the presence I never even knew was there. The smile I've only just seen, but seems somehow familiar. It feels right. Are we smooching? Are we making out? Are we making a sloppy? A lifetime later. The cruelest of fates. The most bruised of souls. Falling in love for just a second and carrying it over a lifetime. How heartbreaking. Who the hell are you? I am Eros, god of love, sex, and everything in between. Tell me, child, would you give me your afterlife? Bring love to the hearts of those who yearn for it. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. I want no part in your little hustle. Yeah, sure, bring it on! I see why he likes you. Go on, then. What? Um. Okay. Are hey, we smooching? Stranger. Ending two. Congrats, you're a Cupid, and you get to smooch Virgil for eternity. I... I'm so confused. Well, uh, I might as well try some of the other endings. Uh, did you just materialize out of thin air? Guess you aren't blind. Glad we can finally rule that out. That's the fourth time this week that an unnaturally beautiful stranger has dumped their coffee on you. Again? Like, that would have hurt. Also, like, I'm pretty sure most of this is the same, so we're gonna skip ahead. Um, are those wings, are you floating, or what the actual hell? I think I wanna be sassy as hell, so what the actual hell? That's my line, dear. I'm not sure how long we have, so try to keep up. My name is Virgil. I'm a Cupid, and I'm at your service. Literally. Okay, we've already seen all this, so I'm gonna skip ahead. Okay, so you're the reason I keep getting stuck in confined spaces with randos? Handsome randos. Ah, uh, I back to defer. Creepy randos. I vetted them first. They weren't creeps. Th my dude, the situation makes it doesn't make it any better. You knew that. I did not. Oh, I can see now how that might be upsetting. You think? See, this is why this little chat is long overdue. <sighs> what will it take for you? What will it take for it to stop? What I need is for you to fall in love already. Again with the falling in love bit. Oh, uh, man. Uh, you can't be serious. I'll laugh at this. I'm a laugh. <laughs> yes, hilarious. I'm not playing here. You're literally playing Cupid. It's literally my job. Ergo, it doesn't count as play. Ah, uh, touchy, are we? No, oh, shut up. Look, I can't move on to my next assignment until your stomach goes all a flutter. Yeah, and? It's not just for me. I'm sure you're done with the tropey bullshit yourself. Look, I'm just saying, okay, like, if you really want me to, like, fall in love with somebody, like, could you stop sending, like, murder, like, murder happy, like, boyfriends my way? Like, th that that would be great. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, of course, I'm kidding. Keep them coming, please. Keep them coming. I am begging you. It's been three months since I was assigned to you. That long, huh? Barely notice you there. Uh, you must not be very good at your job. 
I beg your pardon, I'm excellent at my job. You're the one who's defective. Hey! Hey, it's not my fault that I'm ace, my dude! Probably. Ah, uh, someone's feeling inadequate. I'm not the problem here, pal. Y yeah, I'm not the problem here, pal. There's no harm in admitting you failed. Uh, yeah, there's no harm in admitting you failed. Maybe you're in over your head. <sighs> Maybe I am. Regardless, we're stuck together until we can get your dead heart beating again. And I'm sure you share my desire to get unstuck as soon as possible. Oh, it's beating heart all it takes. Just because I'm alone, that doesn't mean it's a joyless life. You know, this sounds like a you problem. Just because I'm alone, that doesn't mean it's a joyless life. Are you truly happy? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'm still working on loving myself. It's a work in progress. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. The reason your attempts are built is likely because I'm not in need of your services. My heart seems to be beating just fine. And not to the drum you set. Are you telling me HQ made a mistake? That's... Fair. Thank you. I think maybe that will be enough to satisfy them. Can't wait to rub this on Valentine's nose. Finally free from each other, then? Uh, it's been terrible not knowing you. Goodbye, Virgil. Bye, Virgil! <laughs> I wish you the best. Oh, ending three. I'm good on my own, thanks. Okay, so I have a feeling that one of the endings is definitely behind, uh... You know, this sounds like a lot like a you problem. Excuse me? From what you've said, you're not here because they're forcing you to be. You're here because of pride. Are you saying I can't do it? That you're unfit for love? I'm saying you should cough up and admit you're in way over your head. Give yourself the grace to not be perfect. Let yourself move on. Don't stay stuck just to prove a point. I mean, yeah, give yourself the... Give yourself the grace not to be perfect. That's... Fair. I guess you're right. Maybe it is time to move on. Finally free from each other, then? Uh, it's been terrible not knowing you. <laughs> Goodbye, Virgil. It's been terrible not knowing you. 10 out of 10 would do it again. 10 out of 10 would not do it again. 10 out of 10 would do it again. Likewise. One last thing. I hope you're not going to swear off love forever. Uh, maybe, nah, maybe I am. Maybe. It is your choice. Sorry it took me this long to figure that out. All right, ending four. Go sort your paperwork, mate. All right. And I think for the last ending, oh God, I'm gonna need to go through my first set of choices because I think the last ending is uh towards the very end of that route. Let's just see what we got to do. Right, so we're at the very end of that, like, first route which we completed. And I guess to get the final ending, all we got to do is say thanks, but no thanks. I want no part in your little hustle. So be it. Fade into nothingness. Wander away. Ever wondering what could have been. Ending one. You wander limbo for eternity. Whoops. Well, God darn! Ah! Anyway, that was Cupid's Kiss. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, link to the game. Ah, my hand will be in the description below. Um, so yeah, um, I think endings two and three are pretty good. Um, I'm pretty sure ending one is supposed to be the bad ending, which is really funny because it's the ending you get if you romance Cupid and decide, you know, I, look, I came here for the romance, not for the job. And it's just... It's fun. It's fun. God. Uh, I hope the developer comes out with more, though. Like, I would love to see more of Virgil or whoever else they decide to actually feature in their next game. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.